Hey guys, what's up? So today with me, I will be showing you the new one channel layout for non-YouTube partners and what you can do with it if you are a non-YouTube partner. And let's get started. By partner, I do not mean uh, adding ads on your videos, otherwise I could be a partner any day. No, by partner, I mean old school partner like Wilson Tech One, I Justine, Chris Perillo, Techno Buffalo, all those channels. So let's get started. So, as you see here, I just pulled up Internet Explorer since I'm not signed into it, and you can see the public view of my channel now. I changed it to change it to the one channel layout is what Google calls it and as you see you see a little icon up here you see my name reviews tutorials more and depending on your device it will depend because if I put in mobile layout much less will be much less will be shown and if you're on a TV you can see a huge thing now, as you see, I have categorized it into recent uploads, popular uploads, unboxing, and videos, discussion, about, and search, right? And you have a subscribe. Now, as you see here, they have given a very nice feature to uh, non-partners. They have given links. See, for me, tech blog. I added a tech blog and a Google+. Plus. So, guys, please visit that tech blog. That'll help. But, as you see, you get links now which is awesome I really wanted that but now let me show you how it looks on the YouTube editor and how you can set up everything to make the transition to this new channel extremely smooth so let's get started let me just choose Chrome up here and as you see this is the editor these are all my subscriptions these are my featured channels now I will show you how to do the links in just a second. First, let me just show you the layout. Here I have 102 subscribers, 241,682 views, which I'm really thankful for, guys. Thank you very much. Video manager and a view as public option, which I really like. I can view it as the public. See? Now press done. Now, if you guys want the new design, just click on my channel you see learn more about the news of design and then down here it'll say um, you are already do you want to switch to the new channel design and you can do that right so I did because I am a tech reviewer I have to adopt to the new technology so continuing continuing on if I click video manager it just goes to my video manager link basic stuff now here I can add a channel tra trailer which I haven't made yet because I just got this so I'll make that as you see my logo also had to change because they now have a new format for it I'll show you right here on on the on the phone it'll look different on the tablet it'll look a bit different and on the desktop it'll look also pretty different not a major difference but now you have constraints essentially what I don't like is they are killing off maybe the design community on YouTube in my opinion so you know I really want them to bring back the custom design which we really liked but I do understand what they're going for here it's kind of hard to manage going from device to device looking for different things because on the phone as of now it looks very different and that's what they want. They want to unify it. I understand their theory. And it doesn't look that bad. But you have to get time. You need time to get used to it. Okay? Now, I can add a channel trainer, as I said. And I can see subscriber view, unsubscribed trailer. Then here is actually pretty cool. I can change the sections. I can change the content. Trash it. Popular uploads. I can change that unboxing so I made a custom thing c using content tags basically what I can do here is I press content tag layout doesn't matter and the tag it shows all the tags you have and you can choose from whatever 
you have. And then you can change the title if you want. I just made it Unboxings now. And it's really cool. And it'll play it all as a playlist, essentially. Now, also here I have my future channels, which I'll talk about. And in the, you can edit links and edit the channel art. Um, it's kind of hard to get the channel art to work. So if you'd like some help, please please um, PM me or uh, email me at molarnsardar at gmail.com. Links will be down below. Um, I can help you make a new layout. And let me show you the edit links to get these new links. Now, here as you see, custom links. I chose tech blog. This is called dash for tech.com. A very nice tech blog I saw. And I just put the link to it for fun, right? And overlay first link on channel art. So it overlays this on the channel art. And you can add more and more and more. And also social links. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, whoever uses that. Ha, ha, ha. Tumblr, mm -hmm. Blogger, DeviantArt, WordPress, SoundCloud, Orkut, Flickr, Google Play, iTunes, Pinterest, Instagram, Zazzle, Cafe Press, and Spreadshirt. And you can attach your link to that. Since I don't need to, I just put my Google Plus link. You guys can, you know, do whatever you want there. And just press done. Here you can edit your featured channels and your subscriptions. You can make them private or not. And you can un unsubscribe directly from here. Right? And now let's go deeper into the settings. Here I have the browse tab, which is enabled on my channel. I can configure it and the feed. I can show what I want, like commenting, and the discussion will display automatically for my videos or for my channel. So now just go to channel. So as you see, it actually looks pretty nice, but you have to get used to it. I I feel very sorry for the design community on YouTube, which will probably be killed after this. Um, thanks guys for watching. Please comment, please subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.